Boom, bam, shazam, kaplow, pog, hella yeet. Guys, what's up? So you want a 20 bomb? Bet. My name's Swords, and today I'm going to make things a little easier by guiding you to your next 20 bomb game. I've got a 20 bomb on several different legends, and I'm ready to help finally show y'all my ways. But first, I want to talk to you guys about the challenges of how difficult it is to get a 20 bomb. You know, maybe, maybe you're one of those players that that died almost to 20 kills. Maybe, maybe your teammates are taking your kills. Maybe you can't get enough people in a match to even get 20 kills. Maybe people just die out before you get the chance. I wanna remind you guys that this is a difficult task and that only the most committed and dedicated players are going to attempt this. This is a challenge that may take a couple hours or maybe a couple days, but eventually if you keep at it, you're going to reach your goal. The first thing we need to talk about is your mindset. When going for these high kill intense games, you need to get your mindset in check. All right, I need to remind you guys that you're gonna kill 20 players. That is one third of the lobby. That is at least seven teams by yourself. Put that into perspective for a second. Let that help you understand how urgent it is for you to be getting as many kills as possible and staying on the move. You don't wanna waste your time on looting for the best gear, looting buildings, checking every corner, no. No, no, no. Normally I'm a team player, but for this kind of badge, you can't really think about your teammates. You need to actually think about where you're gonna go next. I'm talking about running around with minimal loot, running around with whatever you pick up on your way to the next team. Sometimes running around with 60 bullets, no bullets. Occasionally you may even need to swap out your entire gun loadout with something in a death box just to save yourself time and get to the next fight. Time is huge for these type of challenges. You need to have the mindset that there's an imaginary timer counting down to when your 20 bomb is no longer possible within a lobby. And what are you trying to beat? You're trying to beat other players. You're trying to beat other players taking your kills. Every time you see a team fighting or someone in the kill feed, that is one less kill away from your 20 bomb. Every second matters. So don't spend 15 seconds looting buildings. No, spend that 15 seconds finding the next team. You need to be overly aggressive. Let me remind you, this is basically a solo badge. The only way you're gonna get this is by squad wipe after squad wipe. So after getting about seven different badges, I have finally figured out the formula, or at least a method that works for me. A method that can help me get a 20 bomb within a night. Now, here's my method. I'm ready to finally share it with you guys. I've gained multiple 20 bombs on some of my favorite legends, and each time I notice a familiar tell that I could be getting a 20 bomb during those games. Each time when I dropped hot, I got at least 4 kills, and at least 13 squads were still alive. That was my formula. 4 kills, and at least 13 squads, or more, alive. You can go back to my Fuse 20 bomb video yourself, and you'll see this video there too. Which you should totally check out. I did that solo too. So, that's really it right there, honestly. You should always go for the 20 bomb if you have at least four or more kills and there is at least 13 squads or more alive. Seriously, your odds are increased a lot more during those games. That's what I have noticed. Every time I got a 20 bomb, that was the situation. Now, let's get into me guiding you as to what to actually do during these games. So, first things first, you're going to want to drop hot. You need to decide early where you're going to drop, whether you are the jump master or not. If you drop on the other side of the map or drop too late, you are not going to get this badge. Hot drops differ each game, and it's up to you to figure out where teams are gonna land the most. But the thing is, you don't wanna drop where there's gonna be like nine different players, which you may think you wanna do for a 20 bomb, but really it's not. What you wanna do, instead of dropping on like 12 different people, why, instead of dropping exactly where those 12 people are landing, why don't you drop somewhere next to where those 12 people are landing? That way, you can get a gun, get a body, get some grenades, a little bit of ammo, and then rush those 12 players while they're low, too. You know? In other words, do you want to be the player who drops and can't find a gun? Or do you want to be the player third partying one or two teams while having fully geared loot? Also, let me remind you, you need to get these skills before your teammates do. Unless you tell your teammates that you're going for a 20. If you don't drop hot and have eliminated a team, leave your game and find another one. This has happened to me so many times where I drop somewhere where I think a lot of people are going to be and nobody is there. I'm so serious, guys. I leave those games and I don't even attempt the 20. If I drop somewhere, 
and nobody's around me, I'm leaving that game. Sometimes if I'm in the dropship and I know players aren't dropping hot, I will leave that game in the dropship as well. For the task at hand, you need to do what you gotta do to get that 20. Not a lot of people are going for this badge, and those of you that are, you guys know the grind. After you win your first spawn fight, or your first fight, you're gonna wanna focus on third partying after this. Jump towers are gonna be your best friend in finding enemy teams. At this point, after you win your first fight, you just need to focus on finding the next fight, really. Really, loot on your way to that jump tower. Don't dilly-dally, don't open those supply bins around the corner, no. If there's a building that you can pass through to get some loot on your way to the jump tower, sweet. If there's a supply bin on your way to the jump tower, sweet. But, you know, you don't want to waste 10 seconds getting additional loot when you can spend 10 seconds finding the next team. You're going to want to steal kills from enemy players. There's going to be plenty of times where you're going to third party a team and they're going to be in the middle of a fight. There's going to be a lot of weird situations. You're going to find teams camping. You're going to find teams out in the open. Typically, it's those teams out in the open that you want to jump first. Those teams out in the open are the most vulnerable, the most distracted, and they're probably tunneled into their fight. If you can third party those teams, you know, fight the team that's low or fight the team that has an advantage, you might be looking good. That could be potentially two squad wipes just for you. What I found is close range, mid to close range guns work best for me. I'm the type of player that likes to rush players, you know, get into their faces and take them out. Typically, I'm thinking you're going to want to carry a Mastiff and automatic gun that you're comfortable with. Heck, you could even do an SMG or a wingman, that works. But guns that guarantee you squad wipes, guns that work well for you, good skirmishing guns are going to be the weapons that help you get those high kill games. And while you're, while you're fighting these teams, while you're eliminating them, you should also be thirsting them. And by thirst, I mean like finishing knocked opponents. You're really going to want to maximize your damage this way. By finishing your targets, not only are you guaranteeing yourself a kill towards that 20 badge, you are also gathering additional damage toward that 4k badge or 3k badge, depending on what you're looking for. Pay attention to your damage tracker so you know how much damage you're doing, how close you are to your goal, and that damage tracker is going to help you a lot. Seriously. Sometimes you're going to want to let enemies revive their teammates if an enemy downed them. Essentially, if, you, if you're third partying a fight and you find that an enemy is already down and that you didn't down them or your teammate down them, as soon as the enemy dies, you and your team are not going to get any kills rewarded to you for that down enemy, even if you did a little bit of damage on them. You need to down them yourself in order to get that. Sometimes it gets to the point where you need to get mobile respawn beacons just to place somewhere random on the map in hopes that someone will revive their team. This is a, a good trick that works out sometimes. When you're getting when you're getting close to your high kill game, maybe you're at 15 kills, maybe you're at 14 kills, it's time to focus. It is really time to focus up. A lot of people get nervous when they're getting close to that 20 bomb, and what happens is they choke. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the person to choke when you're so close to your goal. You need to believe in yourself the way I believe in you. You can do it. Just focus up. Do what you were already doing the whole game, and you're going to get yourself that 20. You just got to keep pushing. Keep pushing, my dude, and you're going to get that 20 bomb. For the 4,000 damage badge, it's possible to get the 4K badge outside of 20 bomb game. You don't actually have to get like 20 kills for a 4K badge. I've been in those games where I've gotten like 12 kills with the 4,000 damage badge. All I can say, as long as you're putting damage into the enemy, if you're having a fair fight, a skirmish that's at a standstill, both teams are kind of in a good position, both teams are doing a lot of damage to each other, healing up, then that's going to really, really add up to that damage goal. And, the, and again, the damage tracker is going to help you a lot. Just keep on finishing your enemies. It helps. It's an extra 100 damage or so. Or maybe, you know, maybe a teammate, maybe an enemy gets revived or something. You can do more damage. It, it depends. But regardless, I hope this video helps. But yeah, those are my tips to helping you guys get that 20 bomb and 4k badge. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel grow and help the channel reach more people so that the community can improve overall.